Hey, fellas, I'm back. What's up? I have these big glasses and they really glare, but I got them at Target for $10, so we're keeping them on. We're keeping them on. I have an idea. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I really wanna try it out. So I thought I'd bring you along with me for the ride. Uh, haven't really planned this very much, so we're just gonna see if I can take an idea and make it into a reality. So I had this idea for my personal site. If you don't know, I uh, do this. I'm a web designer and developer, but I'm also a, a musician. I'm a visual artist. Um, I'm also an educator, an informal science educator. So I do a lot of things. And um, I have a website for all of that. It's caseycasalpas.com. I have redesigned this site a million times because I am a designer, but for a, a while now, at least since I started hosting it with Webflow, I've just used um, a free clonable template that I found in the showcase. Um, and it is this one. I will show you now. So this is from uh, the template by Jordan Hughes. It's the um, Andy Harris template. I think he made this for like his girlfriend or his wife. Um, yeah, his partner. It's super simple. I really liked this situation. So I pretty much used it exactly on my site. So if you go to my site, it's pretty much the same thing. I didn't change much. I just changed like the copy and a little bit about me. It's got my music. It's got my science stuff. Um, it's got the studio in there and also my art portfolio is the one other page in here that just has like a little showcase of, of my art. But my idea for this site was to just add a little bit of something extra. I had an idea that there would be like three little circles at the top and each one, when you click on it, you could change like the whole theme color of the site. So I was thinking like three little circles up here one's maybe black one is like yellow or orange maybe and then the other one is just like this pink color and so you could have the pink version the space version and like the sunset version um maybe that's what it is i just yeah i wanted to have different color themes to the site so i think to accomplish this what i'm going to do is i'll create those three buttons and then utilizing like JavaScript's onClick function and also utilizing combo classes all have basically combo classes that turn on with those buttons that change the look of the page. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. I like that idea. I think it could work. It might take way longer than I'm expecting it to. Um, I'm at 12.30 right now. So I will let you know how long it takes me and we can just be like, on this ride together. So let's do it, I guess. Let's go, let's go. First thing to do is I wanna make those buttons. I'll do daytime, sunset, and night mode. Ooh, I like that, I like that. Day mode, sunset, and night mode. In this, I think I'm gonna set the default to be like a little more blue, so it's kind of more like daytime-y. Yeah, maybe a little lighter. I like that, I think that's clean. One thing I have been using a lot lately is the Weeblocks of the script functionality. I really like using this. I do not, however, own the full thing, so let's try and do this. First things first, let me just go ahead and like make these buttons so that they are in there. So I've got three buttons up here. Let me just actually go ahead and convert them to links. Yeah, it will click on them. So here's where things get interesting. When I click on to, maybe I should make them into IDs instead of combo classes for the buttons. The main reason being, I think it could get complicated if I make them all combo classes for the buttons at least. When I click on night mode, I want, so it's gonna be this, it's gonna be this. On click into night mode, add night to body. That honestly seems way too simple to work, but let's see if, let's see if it works. Okay, so I've got my combo class night. I am just gonna see if this works for now that combo class will have this background where it's black and then this background where the text is white. 
I'm going to have to fix the heading classes with something else, but we'll see if that just works to begin with. So I'll do this. Let's see. Let's see what we do. Let's see what we do. My scripts. I love to have a good script situation. I don't know what the Weebox library does. I probably should, huh? I probably should. You know what I should do is set up a JavaScript environment for this. But would, would that take more or less time? Uh, I'm not quite sure. <gasps> Wait, it worked. Oh my God. This is gonna be way easier than I thought it was. Pfft. All right, let's go, girl. Go and get your girl. Go and get your girl to do. Yeah, oh my God. All right, I can do this. This is gonna be fine. How do I target all links with CSS? Set CSS color to, um, let's see if this works. How does that look? Functionally. Oh, love. <gasps> oh, it did it. It did it. Look. But did it do it to all the links that weren't buttons? I think so. So the other, the next thing I need to do is target all the headings. So will I need to do one for each heading? Because that would be so annoying. Is there a jQuery selector for all of the headings? <gasps> oh, maybe there is. jQuery colon header. Let's try it. Okay, here it is. <gasps> oh my god. Does this, is there anything here? <gasps> There's the signature. Okay, I'm going to have to do that. But everything else looks pretty good. Except for this. I don't know why that isn't going through. Let me like highlight everything and see what I missed. So the first thing I need to do is turn all of these little icons into SVGs because that's the main thing that isn't going through right now. And also my signature. I wonder if I can make that an SVG too. Let me pull you into my Figma for a second so you can see. This is the what I was using for my signature. Um, as you can see, it is an image, and I was like, oh man, I'm going to have to bring this into Illustrator, but apparently there's a plugin you can just run to, to do image trace in Figma, which satisfies my burning longing to never be an Illustrator ever. <laughs> Let's see if this goes. <gasps> it works. Oh my god, and it looks like fine. So now that that's traced... While I'm here, I'm also gonna um, get the uh, the arrow, the little arrow SVG again too. I think it was like a right up. Yeah, something like this. I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna copy it as an SVG. And now once I do that, I'm gonna hop back into Webflow. This is where the signature was before. I am going to replace it. So I'm gonna do an embed, paste it in there. Um, and this is the important thing. This is going to become current color and that closes out. Now it is enormous. I don't want that. Well, you know what I can do is I can just make the SVG itself smaller. So I'm just going to do that too. Save and close. Okay. I think that's clean. I think that looks good. So that current current color is gray and when it's on night mode, I'm going to make the color white to class signature SVG. And then anywhere there's this little guy, I'm just going to do the same thing where I replace it with an embed. Oh, and it even kind of looks better too. And then just replace that wherever I see it. Arrow link SVG. And then I'm just going to add that new code. I'm gonna add it into the page. I am going to add it into the page. I think that was it. Oh, there was that weird thing with my name link at the bottom, but let's see. Ooh, it looks cool. I might not have it be directly black. I might have it be like a, a more gray color because I think the black and white can be kind of jarring 
Um, even though the night is so black. Yay! Okay, fixed it. We want to make sure when we click on day mode again, it all goes back to normal. Okay, wait a second. I forgot you can do toggles. No, but that's not going to work with the CSS. So I need to remove and add, I think. That's the easiest thing I can think of. There's probably a way to do it. Like I always say, there's probably a way to do it more simply than this. Okay. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. So night mode, when day mode happens, we just remove every class and set the color of the links. So for day mode, what is the color of the links here? Let's do a little sunset mode action now. So sunset color be, oh, not that. That, cute, 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 cute. Ooh, I kind of like that. Will I like it later? Who knows? You notice I'm like a little hunchback. I feel like a little hunchback when I'm here at the table. I need to stand up at my desk more. I think that's it. <laughs> so, oh, I only have 10 blocks left. So I just have to do this within Webflow. All right. So the last thing is on sunset mode, which I don't think I've written yet. So don't let me forget to do that. Um, I am going to change all of this to sunset. I want to change this color to this. I want to change this color to this. I don't want to remove class. <laughs> what I actually want to do is copy this to here and then change all of these to add class. If only could, would make a deal with good. And then just kind of see if it works. Okay, moment of truth. No, because I didn't name it. That is why. I forgot, you guys. Nobody reminded me. <gasps> oh, it's pretty cute. I don't know about that color still, but I kind of like it. I don't, I don't hate it. Oh, that's a use case I need to think about. This is the only one that removes everything. So if I click this and then this, it does that, which I don't want. And if I click this and then this, oh, wait. Yeah, it does that. So what I'm gonna have to do is fix it. So on sunset mode, I want to remove night classes. And on night mode, I want to remove sunset classes. And I think that'll fix my problems. cut off. I'm not sure where, but I done did finish. Um, <laughs> oh, well, that's not what I wanted. That is, that is simply all wrong. <laughs> Let me see if it's just a bug. It's just a bug. Okay. Um, cool. So it finished. This is day mode. This is sunset mode. This is night mode. Everything still is out here one thing i do want to check is how it looks on mobile i got that we got the little dots up there oh i found a mistake <laughs> yeah 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 yay it works <laughs> i like it i think it looks cute I think it looks really, really cute, and I like it. Um, the end. <laughs> um, if you like this video, I think we're gonna, you know, just put this in not the showcase. It's not called that anymore. It's called Made in Webflow. Um, I also put it up as a clonable. Uh, shout out to uh, who? Who was it that did this originally? Jordan Hughes. Jordan Hughes who made this template. Wow, I love it. Thank you so much. It's so clean. So if you want to do the color thing, that's how you do it. That's at least
that's how I did it. There's, as always, there's like a better way to do it, probably. But uh, that's how I did it. And it only took me about an hour and a half. I started this around like 12, 30, 40, and now it is 1.57, so not too bad for me anyway. <laughs> um, I hope you like that video and I 